Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to work on fixing the pull start for my snow blower. The handle on it was a little floppy. I think the string was a little stretched out. So I took it off and then the whole spring came unwound. So now I have a mess. Should have left well enough alone. Today I'm going to show you how to rewind the spring and how to replace the string on a pull start. As I said, I made a bit of a mess. I took the pull start off my snow blower and when I went to take the, uh, the pull cord out, the spring ended up unwinding. So I'm going to show you how to wind this back in. It looks more, a little more complicated than what it is. So on this end, there's already a hook bent into that spring, which if you look on here, you have a notch. So we're just going to put that hook right in the notch. And you use this rim and you just start working it around. Fingers are going to get a little greasy from all that grease in there. Don't let go of it either. It'll go shooting back out, come back and whack you. This thing's a little sharp on the edge too. And we're almost there. Just keep working that in. Make sure you don't let go of it ever. And you just take this little hook right around the center. And that's wound back up. Now just be careful with this. If you would toss it down, that would pop off and boing! Out it goes again. I'll show you how to uh, string a new cord on here now. Now when you're looking at how this works, this hook on the spring that catches on this notch in the housing. So when you put that in there and twist this, that spring grabs and that put ten puts tension to pull that cord and have it retract back in. Don't go crazy messing with this like this, or you end up popping your spring back out. All right, I'm going to go grab a length of cord and show you how to wind that up in here. When you're trying to determine the length of cord, a couple of different options. I mean, the easiest one is just to match up what was what came off of there, get it pretty close to that. The other thing you can do, you can see how many times it'll wind along the outside of here. So if you find where the, the cord comes through, just stick that there, hold it, and just wind this around until this reel gets full. And then you would know how much cord you need. So I have this about right what I cut off. So I just cut a big length of the cord off. I used a lighter and just melted the ends so they don't fray. What we're going to want to do now is feed the cord right down through this hole. So you may need to grab a little screwdriver a nail, just something you can use to push that through because it is a tight fit. And this is why I melted the ends of my cord because if you don't, it ends up fraying and you can't get it through. But All right, you can just pull a little bit through there and just kind of hold on to it. And we're going to get the housing. We're going to set this down on there and feel the spring grab. And now, since we were able to wrap that cord about four and a half times, what we want to do is rotate this in the housing five times. So we line this up here with where the bull cord will come out, and we're just going to twist that. Got one. five. Now what I'd recommend for this type, take a small screwdriver, stick that through one of the slots so it doesn't get away from you. And then we need to feed this cord through here and up through here. Just going to work it over there. It should pop right out. 
right, and pull that through. And on this end, we're just going to tie a knot. Nothing fancy required here. Just right in the very end. Pull that tight. Pull that down in. Push the tail down in this notch. That way that can't pull through. Pull out your screwdriver and slowly let that reel in a little bit. Don't let the cord pull in the whole way. I'm just making sure the tension's going to be good. And it looks like it will be. So now we need to attach the handle. I'm just going to pull a little out. Put my screwdriver back in to keep that from twisting. I'm going to grab the handle. Just need to feed this down through there. Well, that's tight. There we go. Same thing. We're just going to tie knots in here. Get that a little closer to the end. It pulls right down. I should be able to take this out. And it goes. Now this one, there's one more part to put on. This is what holds that all together. I have a bolt, the plate. There's a little spring that goes on there. And we just need to fit this down on. And that's done. That'll be good to go back on my snowblower. Won't be hanging out anymore. It's got good tension. No need to take this to a repair shop. Imagine if you would do that by the time you'd, you know, spend time thinking about it, getting it loaded up, taking it somewhere, waiting for someone to fix it, bring it home. You could do it at home in five minutes. This cord you can get that anywhere, any of the big box stores. You get it on Amazon, it's a couple bucks. You get about 25 feet of this stuff. You can fix whatever you need to. Hope you had a good time hanging out today and picked up some good tips to save you some money. Tap that like button so this video gets shared to help others out.